Hello Libra, welcome to a love reading. We're gonna be looking at what you can expect, uh, the energies between you and this other person that you have dealt with, are dealing with, or will be dealing with. Um, more details on them and what can you expect next. All that will be in this reading. As always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Libra watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest messages guidance please for Libra what does Libra need to know regarding love so we're doing a simple nine card spread the first row will be the energies between you and this other person what can you expect in love the second row will be your person's energies and then the third row will be what can you expect next so first row we have the emperor wow aries energy knight of wands okay an ace of wands so something's definitely happening um could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius typically these energies tell me that there is action being taken um things are moving in a very passionate motivated way and the emperor is almost like the one that i feel is making it happen let's find out a little bit more about this person we have justice well there you are knight of cups and the ace of cups oh yeah so they definitely have at least when they think about you or their emotions towards you there's love here there's genuine emotions the knight of cups is someone very sincere this could be an apology as well um I don't know if this is someone you already know or someone new coming in. We will see if we get anything like that. What can you expect next? We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Six of Wands, and the Lovers, Gemini energy. I feel like I should just stop this <laughs> reading right here. I mean, it's just too good. It is just too good. I mean, I even see here higher levels of commitment, maybe um, moving into the next step in your connection, maybe meeting a soulmate success victory i mean this is pretty big libra i'm pretty happy for you guys four of cups at the bottom of the deck here disinterest um boredom feeling like you're focusing on the wrong thing or possibly focusing on the wrong thing um but i feel like uh, i don't know i'm not really picking that up here um, at least in your person side, I feel like they're thinking about you a lot. I mean, there you are, Justice. With the Knight of Cups together, this could also be like an apology to make things right as well. Um, but I think this could also be just someone that is very into you. Let me get some guidance messages. Insight into the energies between... Libra and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies in this connection spirit? Taking action. Oh yeah. Someone's definitely making moves here with the Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. And then we have coming together, reunion, destiny meeting, destiny has brought you together. I mean, come on, like this is just an amazing reading happy ending at the bottom of the deck i mean seriously <laughs> what is happening i mean i love it don't get me wrong i love this energy so let's clarify some of these i'm not going to clarify all of them just the ones that i feel need a little bit more clarity on we have some clarity inside please for libra libra what do we need to know for libra well, let's start with this um, Knight of Wands, because I want to know what, what's the purpose here with all of this passion, motivation, action. The Knight of Wands doesn't really think a lot. Um, they prefer just getting out there and getting it done, you know? They can be a bit impulsive, but it's not without a purpose or a goal. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know about this Knight of Wands? What do we need to know? Four of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so 
Again, I feel like, ooh, Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Magician. I think this is somebody that is very motivated with the Magician and the Ace of Wands, focused on a new beginning here. Um, but with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups, maybe they walked away from you. Maybe they're, you walked away from them. Maybe they have had a recent heartbreak. And I think you're getting them out of that or they want to kind of address this. Let's see. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Libra, a Gemini, a Taurus. I have um, Fire Sign and Cups are here. Water Sign. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What's this about, this Ace of Wands? Eight of Swords. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Hmm. A lot of bravado, a lot of like, let me get out there and get this done. But deep down, I feel like someone's very insecure or unsure. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is someone overcoming their fear. This is someone that, um, despite the fact that they could maybe feel a bit stuck, trapped, or fearful, they're still going to go and get this done or they're still going to um, make their move. Yeah, Strength, Leo Energy. Um, Ten of Cups, they're focused on the possible outcome. I think they tell themselves, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe they have left something behind in order to come towards you with the Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles takes their time, very cal uh, practical, calculated risks. So I feel like whatever's happening here, Libra, this is someone that's willing and planning to take action but the four of pentacles and the eight of swords there's like almost like a hidden insecurity um i i sense that someone's almost like holding back their fear in order to do this they're going to try to appear confident at the very least so let's find out a little bit more about your person let me get stay still a rainbow Tell me more about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know about this individual? What do we need to know about this person? We need to know about this person. Spirit, guided and protected. So they're being guided here. Or have someone watching their back, basically. What else? Intense, profound, and earnest. So what I'm getting here, okay, again, I'm getting this energy of someone who, um, maybe on the outside, there, there's a lot going on, but really deep down, there is uh, a sincerity. This is not someone, um, bottom of the deck, we have faith. This is not someone that is... Um, narcissistic, manipulative, that is not the energy I'm getting here, especially with the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant, like, no, <laughs> that's not, that, that's not, just because you're dealing with a fire sign, for example, doesn't mean that you can ignore the rest of the energies on the board, right? Um, yeah, especially Justice too, the Emperor, I mean, these energies are not energies of people that are morally corrupt or morally bankrupt <laughs> so keep that in mind if you're dealing with someone like that i do not think this is your reading just because of the energies that i see here so let's get a little bit more insight into their energies here tell me about the knight of cups why is the knight of cups here why is the Knight of Cups here for Libra? Two of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups. What do we need to know? The Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. I want one more, please. One more for the Knight of Cups. King of Wands. So, again, um, and there's Judgment at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody from the past coming in to apologize. And 
and have a second chance. But I'm also getting the energy of someone who sees a future with you first. Maybe they met you recently and they didn't see you in a certain way in the past or maybe at first they misjudged you. But with judgment, I'm getting almost like they're realizing that there could be a future with you. <clears throat> that they are attracted to you, but also have feelings for you. It's, it's, it's both. Ace of Cups. It's Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. This is new energy. The opportunity for something new. Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. The Lovers. Yes, a new partnership. And with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, and Six of Wands, there is a reason why they're taking action. They visualize success. It's like maybe some sort of conversation or something happens where they see an opportunity with you. Now look at this. King of Cups flipped over here. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But again, the King of Cups is not a manipulative person. They're the opposite of that type of person. The King of Cups is like someone very emotionally mature, balanced. They are very empathetic and compassionate. I think you've stirred something in this person. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? The magician. Oh yeah, this is about, I feel they just, they're manifesting you. A new beginning with you. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. And it, I think that they will be successful. Or at the very least, it's going to be a very... Um, potentially successful connection. The potential is there. The higher font, Six of Wands, the Lovers. Tell me about the higher font. Oh my God, the Knight of Cups. Like, are you freaking kidding me? They're going to express themselves to you and they're showing up as Knights, not Pages. This, these are Knights, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, okay? So it's not going to be a small offer. It'll be an offer with intention. A Knight of Cups with intention, the higher font. Tell me about the higher font. Tell me about the higher font. What do we need to know about this higher font energy? Four of Swords. I think that this is someone, um, yeah, I think that this is someone that they thought a lot, Four of Swords. They thought a lot about what they're going to say. Maybe they've been dreaming about what to say. Oh, and there's the Seven of Swords. Which, when I see the Seven of Swords with these types of cards, Knight of Cups and the Hierophant, it's not a deceptive person. It's more of a strategic person. There's a method to this. I think that this is someone that has been very careful about how they behave around you. But their intentions are different than what you, what appears, right? Like, And I don't mean that in a negative way. Because again, we're not talking about a narcissistic manipulative person here. That is not this reading. I mean, maybe you are dealing with someone like that, but I could tell you it would have shown up in the cards if that was the case. And it's just not in this particular reading. But when I see the Seven of Swords with like an Emperor energy or King of Pentacles energy, Knight of Cups, the higher font, it's someone that is using, um, their goals are and intentions are of a positive nature. It's someone that maybe is a king of pentacles. Maybe they're not really um, used to um, doing things behind the scenes, but they feel like they need to do things behind the scenes right now. I think this is someone that is, yeah, they've really held on to, I feel, all of these emotions. There's a six of swords too. Wow, the tower, the queen of pentacles. So I think that there's a reason why this person feels like they need to take action right now. They might have walked away from something else. 
Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers for Libra. What do we need to know about the lovers? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Potential. Again, the potential for something long term, for something that has longevity. It's not just about the fact that I feel a connection with you. Um, I'm also thinking of a future with you. That kind of energy. Tell me about the lovers. The Eight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, once again, every single card out here. <laughs> It's just confirming the message, which is that this is somebody that is willing to put in the effort to be with the person they want to be with. This is someone that's willing to put in the work that it takes to have a Ten of Pentacles. Basically, the message is it's not just words, okay? It's not calculated lies. It's not calculated promises. It is whatever they're feeling is backed by action and effort. So be very careful that you're interpreting it in the way that you need to be interpreting these messages because you have to look at everything like look at this we have the queen of swords and the nine of cups with the higher font again the queen of swords is not somebody that would mess around and i don't think this person feels like they uh, messing around with you is a risk that they're not willing to take basically and i love that let's get some insight in this near future energy can we get some insight on this near future energy spirit for libra we get some insight okay we got a bunch that fell out here you will be rewarded number 33 a cycle is ending in a few months and choose a new direction oh yeah this is something completely new I feel like this is something that's coming in for you or coming in for this person after something has ended. A new direction. You will be rewarded. Beautiful reading. I'm going to take this to the extended now because I want to look more on uh, your person's intentions, even though they're all over this reading, but more insight into their intentions, next possible actions, mainly this magician for me. And then we're also going to get a little bit more insight on the outcome as well. Um, I don't really see action here. I see more this Knight of Cups. So what is this about? You know, what is this Eight of Pentacles really about? I kind of want to get a little bit more insight on that as well. And then I want to look at advice, general guidance for you, Libra, uh, on what you can expect uh, with this particular connection. So if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to check out that extended for bonus information. It's linked in the description box. 